Microsoft Office is used by millions of businesses. Microsoft Word in particular is its flagship product for creating all sorts of documents, everything from resumes to signs to table of contents. People write entire books in Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is the standard productivity tool. While there are other office productivity tools like Google Apps, Star Office, Open Office, and Microsoft Works, Microsoft has cornered the market in productivity software. So today we're going to be reviewing items in Microsoft Word under the file menu. When you click on file, you have the option to create a new document, open an existing document, close your current document, or you can also save your existing work. Another popular item here is page setup. With this, you can control all sorts of settings and margins such as the top margin, the left margin, bottom right, and even change the layout so it is landscape, which is the wider version versus portrait. Another thing you can do in page setup is control the paper size. So if you are using legal, which is a little bit longer, if you are using paper from um, UK, they also have envelopes in here as well. The other thing to do is for paper source. If you have a printer uh, that has several different trays, so let's go back over to the file menu. And print preview is also very popular. Uh, if you have a document and you want to check it out and make sure everything is lined up great, print preview is where it's at. So if we go into print, this is where you have all the options to choose from regarding how your document is going to look. If you have more than one printer, you can choose that as well. Here you can print a specific page. You can include notes and markup items uh, from your document. You can also control the number of copies, as well as if you are creating maybe a series of thumbnails, yes, you can actually print more than one page on a sheet, which is pretty nice. When you go into the properties of your printer, this is where you can change the print quality. You can go ahead and choose if you want the entire document to be grayscale. There are even really neat settings for the printing type. For example, if you scroll down here, you can choose a booklet format which will print a smaller version. Uh, I use this a lot when I'm printing out contracts and documents that I just need for reference. It's, it's very handy. They also have poster printing as well. One of the important things people like to do in Microsoft Word is create lists. So here I'm going to do a list for the types of dogs. So let's say that there is a bull mastiff, there is a chihuahua, there is a terrier, there is a great dane, and there is a poodle. So I will be using the tool which allows me to create bulleted lists by clicking and holding down and selecting all of the types of dogs. I go up here to my toolbar and select bullets and there I've just created a list. Now let's say I want to make this bold. I'll go ahead and highlight it by clicking and holding down. I will go ahead and hit B for bold. There we go. Now let's say that this is a larger list. This could be for the Humane Society. And I'm going to say maybe it's for the Humane Society of Minnesota. And let's say I want this a lot larger. Well, I'm going to click and hold down. I'm going to highlight it. And then maybe I'll make this hmm, about 26. And I may want to center it. So I'll make sure it's still selected and choose center. Now here's a great time to choose print preview so you can see how it looks because it's always nice to get a big picture. See, so I think this looks pretty good. Now I could continue um, making lists. Um, I could certainly do types of cats. So there's a Burmese, there is a Siamese, there is a ragdoll, and oh, there is a Rex. And I'll just repeat that same process where I select uh, the items that I want to be part of the list go up to my toolbar and click bullets and I'll go ahead and uh, make this bold as well. 
So you can see that quite quickly, you can create a list, a handout, a, a series of items so that you could bring these to a meeting. Um, we'll get into resumes and other types of documents uh, later on in the workshop. Thanks. Thank you.